So 30th of August, not a lot's going on, but we've got a couple of things, a couple of opportunities to cover today. It's going to be a nice short debrief. So let's dive in. Firstly, markets are down a little bit. Bitcoin's kind of up above 60, below. ETH struggling and Solana's dipped quite a bit as well. There have been a couple of winners, Cloud, which we'll go over shortly. Now this, remember, not trying to be political here, but uh, this is pretty important. It'd be great to see if this came from Kamala Harris as well. Don Trump says he will make the United States the crypto capital of the planet if elected president. See how see how this goes as we lead up to the election time. Jupiter had their planetary call. If you want to watch, it's all timestamped. There's plenty of decent things. Probably one that I will point out is the fact that the core working group now has uh, a micro grants program. So if there's something you want to do to improve the space, join Jupiter Discord, or if you're not already in, join them and work out what you can do in order to help Jupiter and Solana. Like there's plenty of plenty of ideas out there, but anything that really just enhances the ecosystem, I think would be worth something. Something that like maybe if you're an Ethereum user and you found Solana and you want to teach about how to get on from Ethereum to Solana, I think that could have a lot of value. If you had like a lot of tutorials, a lot of guides, those sort of things. But there's a lot of things out there. Essentially, uh, another major thing is moonshot.cc and pump.fun tokens. They're now routed through Jupiter, basically instantaneously. Now, Solana Breakpoint, if you can make it, do come. This is going to be really, really cool. It's going to be massive, and they've got a really awesome conference set up. This is really cool because in Lisbon, they used different stages. They actually had like three or four different buildings, and you had to take transportation from one to the other, and one was like 25 minutes away, so it just did not work. It's just one building. You've got, this is dev stuff. This is a uh, product and, you know, business opportunity stuff. So most people I think will be here. You've got a game of village, food and beverage, uh, developer networking space. You can see it. But either way, this is organized really well. It keeps everyone nice and central. Remember, tickets to this, $500 or a little bit cheaper if you're a developer. And probably you can watch my video on it, but it'll probably cost you another five grand or so in terms of flights and accommodation. But I think it's going to be worth it for sure. At uh, Singapore. Or in Singapore at Breakpoint, there's going to be some sort of treasure hunt. We don't have any hints on it other than this. So the registration is opening soon. This is related to Open Open Vessel. I've never heard of these guys before, but they're uh, content creators, I guess. Uh, anyway, there's going to be a Bonk and Helio treasure hunt. There's nothing currently on Helio's Twitter, so I can't give you any more information there. Same with Bonk, nothing there. But I imagine there'll be maybe 10K up for grabs or something. So if you're going, maybe you can enter that as well. Check out this and try it out and see if it works. So Sling Money, I haven't tried it out. I'm going to see if it works, but you can send money very, very fast. And I, and you know, works on the Solana blockchain and probably a good way just to, to pay people or send money abroad without having to worry about just the difficulty that you currently use. Like we use an editor in uh, Asia and when we have to send money to them, they don't, they don't want crypto. It takes like a week. It's insane. I don't know why it's like that. It's just how it is. So something like this, I think has crazy amount of product market fit. Give it a go. See if it works. Klanos, they've got a new, they have a new little trailer out. I'll link it below. It's cool. The animation is really cool. There's no exact correlation between buying an NFT and walking away and, you know, that price is kind of appreciated. But the IP, the animation skills, they are exceptional. So I hope they can continue to build uh, what they're building. Also, They've finally moved into their office space. So I saw this yesterday as well. And let's just scroll on down, find where Cab says it. He's a, he's a regular tweeter. Here we are. Moving day complete. They are now, they, I think they're in Toronto or somewhere in Canada. They've now got everything and they're moving in. So that they've got everyone just locally working on their brand. Yesterday, we mentioned the fact that Binance, Bybit and BitGet, they teased the launch of Sanctum LSTs, which is brilliant. I really do like Sanctum. I've mentioned it before. And there'll be a lot of other people that's going to create LSTs as well. Like as an example, the Pathfinders Mint didn't do well. Then it ended up doing reasonably well as people realize that it's you're just, you're just staking soul. Here, this is not in any way financial advice, but it's, this has gone up 40%. So if you did buy at these levels, you may want to take some profits. I think this token's worth a lot more than this. And I think this token will do well, but will it outperform Solana in the short term? Not entirely certain. We've got an airdrop opportunity here. Zelio Finance. So go and post your wallet underneath this. This is Solana's lossless lottery savings protocol powered by Locksmith Labs. So these guys built a lot in the previous cycle. They're building Migos as well. 
And the, the guys behind Atlas, if you're into NFTs, I'm pretty sure you're going to know what Atlas 3 is. Now, for, for the sake of kind of competition, there's something called Pull Together. They were slaughtered by the Ed because that's just how they do things. But Pull Together was like the most popular app on the EVM side. And this was really, really cool. They've now kind of, I guess the back end's been open source and they've got different migrations. I haven't used it in quite some time. If Zelo Finance manages to build something similar to this, then this is properly worth doing it. So we've got three hours remaining. Go grab your wallet address, like it, flick it below, and then you're good to go. And by the way, the reason why you can see this is because I use this DeFi Llama extension, which you should use as well, just to block any potential scam stuff. Either way, we'll follow this as things develop. Some breaking news here. Trade with Photon flips Lana in 30-day revenue. So Pump.Fun and Photon, these things are making a lot, a lot of revenue, which means that people are still doing very, very well with meme coins, but most people are completely being destroyed. But this is still where you may want to put a little bit of attention trying to snipe something. There's different strategies that people use. I saw one the other day and it was a strategy like basically you put in like 0.1 into tokens, 0.1 soul into random tokens. And then most of the time you're going to lose, but you, it's only 0.1 soul. And then sometimes you're going to hit like that 100x or that 50x. And that's when you want to take some profits. Of course, not financial advice. I don't do any of these things because it's like a full-time job just to keep an eye on these sort of things. Asset Dash has some great advice here. Very, very important. Before we get into this crazy bull cycle, and when we get into this crazy bull cycle, there's going to be a lot more people very, very keen on just trying to make money and their operational security will not be in. Remember, set up your multiple multiple wallets. Uh, Stately saw your seed phrases in real life. It says not online. If it's a hot wallet, this hot wallet is connected. If you put this seed phrase into a secure password manager that's encrypted, it's basically a similar deal. But yeah, either way, just keep them keep them safe. Of course, your ledger seed phrase never ever goes anywhere near the internet. And then put all your addresses into Asset Dash for wallet tracking. Not entirely sure what the most perfect portfolio tracker is, but thus far, if anyone has any ideas, actually let me know what you use for portfolio tracking. If you put them all in there, you can just see when tokens go up, when tokens go down, when you want to take profits, all that sort of stuff, and then you're sorted. Yesterday, I did a live stream with JSB from Carrot DeFi, and now I think it's time that you give this a go. It's now in beta. It was a very decent live stream. You just come here. We'll go ahead and connect the wallet. There's a it's not always recognizing Soulflare for some strange reason, uh, which is a bit annoying. But other than that, this is a pretty cool application. Here we are. So you connect, you use uh, the code, which is Neurin. And then what you do is you put your US dollars or your USDT and you convert it into carrot. And this is kind of, I guess you could say a little bit of a competitor to Lulo, only it does things a little bit different. So it puts the USDC and USDT into different dApps. You need to find out where here they are. So you've got risk profiles and different things as opposed to just putting it all in one or all in another. So I really like that idea. Uh, so it means that there's an exploit with one, you're safe with another. Of course, you know, there's always smart contract risk. You're earning, you know, at the present like 9%. Some people will argue, is it worth doing it for 9%? For me, it is if it's audited and it's like from a team of good builders, but I understand. Uh, and the great thing with this is your CIT, it's just like a liquid staking token of USDC or USDT. So it just accrues naturally, has tax benefits and other things like that. So I like this. Check it out. There's not going to be like a brilliant airdrop program or anything. There's, you know, potentially going to be a point system, but I don't think this is going to be the next Camino Finance. But I think this actually has a lot of merit. Now over to the Solana calendar. Remember to keep this calendar marked and use this whenever you need to find what's going on. And also suggest an event if there's something that needs to go into this. Like if you've got alpha before the rest of us, put in here. And then that way the researchers can go and put it in. If you want to be on the podcast, click here and join us. So today we can see everything today. There's a watch. There's a watch bonk and soul end. They're now called save. AMA. Uh, you can watch the interview from yesterday. Bonk dragon reminder. Uh, the cat Binance snapshot was yesterday. And this is very important, actually. So we'll cover this one. So remember with Sanctum, if you were earnest or if you didn't link your wallet, you need to actually apply now. If you're found to be a Sybil, you need to go and say why you weren't the Sybil. This is well worth doing. If you did something to help Sanctum, they do have tokens that they're allocating to people. So go fill out this form. There'll be a few other things probably going on. A couple of things tomorrow. So tomorrow's the last day, but uh, you can see it all there. All right, let's jump onto the actionables. You can watch the video with Carrot DeFi Founder if you're keen on that. 
and speed watch on 2x speed there are timestamps that you got the duplanetary core recording once again with timestamps if there's anything you want to find out maybe regarding actually how you can go and get a budget request from the core working group look out for the bonk and helio treasure hunt registration just put on your radar for now i'll of course let you know this is not financial advice but the markets are up the down like this is probably not a good time to do leverage unless you are very, very familiar as a trading trader. Uh, and when, so once again, I'm not recommending you do this, but this is what I'm doing. I just DCA into Seoul. Also buy a ledger to secure your assets. This is a time when things are quiet. Take care of your operational security and stake your soul with us, with validator.com. Airdrop actionables, drop your wallet on Zelo Finance Twitter post. I think that has a decent amount of potential. Check DBR's latest Discord announcement for launch details. I didn't link it here today. They're launching soon. And play Hamster Combat for five minutes every day. And try out Carrot, see if you like that. That's everything for today. Thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow's the weekend. We'll be here tomorrow. And then Sunday will be Touch Grass Day.